Hi and welcome to this segment where we are going to look at cofactor expansion, the determinants on the inverse. So in the previous video we saw how to to, to compute uh, for the cofactor of a given you know cofactor matrix given a matrix okay uh, and now today we want to look at um, how to use this cofactor expansion to get the determinant and thereafter even compute the inverse so for the previous uh, video we had this um, um, we had this uh, matrix here a okay for which we computed some of its cofactors I think if we can go back here we computed um, the cofactor a two three okay which we found to be negative six uh, a two three a two three yeah this one here which we computed as negative six and then we also computed the other cofactor associated with uh, yeah the first the first the entry in the first row and in the first column and we found it to be negative 54 yeah so this was the only two we computed and then i say that you can always compute the rest so now here i just did a copy i just copied all the rest of the cofactors to come up with the cofactor matrix so you have this matrix here a and then its cofactor matrix is given as this so um if we want to define to de get the determinant of a okay we can find the determinant of a by having what we call cofactor uh, expansion along uh, any given row or even what column okay so and how do we define this we are going to define this by say eg the determinant of a can be given as the entry which is in the ith row we, okay if we try to expand this along the first column then we shall going to have this times the cofactor which is in the ith row in the first column then plus the entry which is in the ith row in the second column oh actually sorry this is now expanding along in a, in a row okay so we are moving across columns here so we have a i2 then times this okay then plus a i3 times the cofactor in that and so on and so on and so on what we are trying to say here is that we can move along any particular uh row for instance i throw i can be one two or three so if we choose two okay if we choose i to be two that means we can just replace this and then say it is a two one then the cofactor which is in that position plus a two two and then the cofactor associated in that position plus a two three and then the cofactor which is associated in that position in other words we are going to look at this entry here this is a two one okay multiplied by the cofactor which is in a two one okay let me use a different color code here so we say okay yeah it's okay so okay let's say that we get this one here this is a to one multiplied by its corresponding factor okay we are moving along a is equals to two then we can get this entry here this is the a to two okay then times its corresponding factor and then we can get also this one here which is a23 times its corresponding cofactor in other words the determinant of the matrix is simply going to be uh, 2 okay times 19 then plus 0 times 0 times 7 
then plus uh, which one is the last one we have um, 6 times negative 6 ok then you can get the result this answer will be the same whether you choose i to be 2 like we have chosen or you expand along the first row or you expand along the third row it doesn't matter whichever whether you try whether you decide to expand along this by multiplying each entry here by its corresponding cofactor then you add all the results the answer will be the same okay that also applies to the row whether you decide to expand along let's say for example maybe the third column sorry you simply get each entry here in this third column and then you multiply it with its corresponding cofactor those ones here which is in the third those which are in the third column here so in a cof so if we decide to expand along um along a column so we shall say that determinant of a is going to be equal to a1 along any column here so we write j then we are on the first row okay but along in a column here then we move to the second row okay of in a column like that so so we are moving across across columns here okay plus and so on and so on and so on whatever until we have a n j and then that i.e whatever we can decide to expand along this column here i.e we are moving across the rows and then you multiply by the corresponding entries here okay so the j the what is fixed sorry uh, this is cofactor expansion along uh, in a column yeah we pick a j okay the j will be fixed but then the um, rows will be varying so that is why we are varying the rows we have one two three up to n but for whatever j you fix the j maybe you can choose the j to be one and then you expand along the first column here so that cofactor expansion will give you the determinant the determinant is a u is a scalar which gives us useful information about the nature of the matrix okay so we are saying that the determinant okay is a scalar which gives us useful info about the nature of the what of the matrix later on for people who are doing you know quite some analysis in this linear algebra they make use of this determinant in you know uh, getting to know about the nature of these matrices and so on and so on so uh but for us for this course we are only okay for now it is just an it, it it's enough for us to know how to compute the determinant of a matrix this way then for more analysis maybe you can find that in a much more advanced course of linear algebra so uh based on that uh remember last time we computed the inverse using the gauss jordan elimination where we started with um a matrix a a square matrix a and then we augmented it with uh with our with the identity matrix of order n okay so we had this n by n we augmented it and then we used our gauss jordan elimination and then we came up with now uh, form where now the inverse was on the left hand side and it was augmented with another matrix and we said that this matrix here is the inverse of a now now that we know how to find the determinant using um, um uh, the determinant using um, um what method is this cofactor expansion along in a row in a column okay we are going to define we are also going to define the inverse of a matrix okay of a square matrix here to be okay the uh, this form here where we have 
the met the transpose of the cofactor matrix okay the transpose of the cofactor matrix times one over the determinant of a okay so mm, yeah so but uh, the this matrix here the transpose of the cofactor matrix has a name okay whose short form we shall write as that okay and uh, this is called the adjugate okay i will write it here so in this text they refer to it as the adjugate of the matrix a by n and this is this transpose okay so for example if we go back here for our example here we have our matrix here of cofactors then its transpose okay is its adjugate so we just get its transpose so its transpose we are going to have negative 54 then we have negative 20 then we have 18 and then we have 19 we have 7 we have negative 6 and then this is negative 6 negative 2 and negative 2 and now the inverse of a a inverse is simply 1 over the determinant or oh, the determinant whatever value we get here let us assume the determinant is maybe let's say we get a number beta okay so it is 1 over beta multiplied by this matrix here which we have okay negative 54 19 negative 6 negative 27 negative 2 18 negative 6 and 2 and so on yeah so that is as far as we can go here you can check out in the in the in the resource book and then you can work out the example and make sure that you get the same solutions okay so thank you and we will meet in the next video. Thank you.